Yo, what's up? In this video, I will show you um, what pulls power and also how much does it pull in an EV when you're using various things like uh, light, camera, action. <laughs> um, so uh, the app I use here is called Scan My Tesla. Uh, you can look in the video description and find more info about it. Uh, usually I have it on this tab when I'm driving because it's easier, but I think for now we want to use this tab because um, uh, it's lots of info. Actually, we can we can start with this one, I guess. Uh, since you guys have seen it before. So you see we are just parked right now. We are not plugged in. So the car is pulling about two kilowatt for something, right? Mostly for, for HVAC. HVAC means heat ventilation, AC or, um, or climate control. Um, so I'm going to switch. Oh, by the way, this one supposedly, uh, where's again? The heater left and the heater right here. They are incorrect. Well, at least I heard that the heater right is incorrect. They, they removed this uh, these two variables in the current version. I'm still on old version. Uh, so the heater is probably more than one kilowatt. It's probably one and a half or something. But I'm, I'm going to switch off uh, HVAC now to show you what happens. Okay, so you see immediately after we switch off HVAC, uh, the power, uh, the battery power went down to only 250 watts only. So you see that uh, the climate controller HVAC was pulling about, well, almost two kilowatt if you count the, the fans also, because the fans, they also pull some power. So um, if you see here, if we turn down this one a little bit, it's going to be lower and then but then also it, it changes the power the heater power it doesn't it doesn't go that high anymore uh heat the left and these two um but if you go higher here let's say go to 10 then uh i think it actually it doesn't it doesn't change the heater output too much but then it fires up the the well actually it did uh, but now it just blows the fan really high Wow, four kilowatt, really? Damn. Yeah, so let's put it on auto again. And you can see here, if you go to the alt tab, that we have uh, some, uh, there's lots of variables here, but there's one here, you see, blower speed target. So if we set the blower to one, it will decrease. If you go higher, this one goes higher, see? So, and also you have evaporator here, evap evap enable this is this one it's the 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 ac compressor um so if you oh, no it would it tends to stop that one so if we switch it off then it goes to zero here and also we can look on the power uh, consumption and see that uh, if we just have it on auto it should rest at around two kilowatts something right yeah, just give it a couple of seconds. Mm, 1.5. Yeah, okay. Well, that's kind of low. Hmm. Maybe I've been blasting. The, <laughs> I've been blasting the H back kind of high. That's why. There, there, go down. It rests around two. Yeah, it usually rests around two, two and a half almost. Okay, and now I'm going to switch off a, uh, the AC. You heard a little poop. And then the consumption should be slightly lower. Yeah, you see, you see, suddenly now it's it's pulling way less uh, power uh, because the AC was consistent. I mean, constantly trying to to get rid of the moisture, but it also, I guess, something to do with it also cooled down a little bit. That's why the heater had to run at higher power. So I guess if you don't care about moisture, let's say if you're camping in the car, then I would definitely switch off H, uh, the, the AC. Uh, and you see now we're pulling way less power to maintain uh, a nice and warm cabin here. Uh, but of course, if you're driving, then just leave it on auto because then the car will figure out how to not let the, the uh, the windows fog. Uh, so, um, but if you switch off HVAC now, uh, I will show you what happens if you use some other uh, electronics. So, for example, a seat heater. See, it seems to take about 70 watts, maybe. If you use the other side also, you see, it goes up here. So, pay attention to this one. Um, we can also enable the rear heaters. It doesn't have. Um, uh, 
Model 3 does not have a heated steering wheel or heated front uh, wipers. But now every time we go into this menu, uh, the, the, the HVAC fires up. It's, uh, it's, I don't know if it's a feature or whatever. Yeah, I guess it's a feature. So you can't really, yeah, you, well, let's just quickly do it. Put on the rear bacon. Yeah, it looked like bacon, all right. Uh, but then you switch off uh, HVAC, but you have you have the heaters running still and you see now that we are pulling about oh, how much is this? 350 watts maybe for the heaters so it seems like every seat takes about 70 watts so of course you can you can drive around with seat heater and HVAC off like some so people always uh, recommend to me that hey you know hey Bjorn you want to save energy you can run without HVAC I'm like um, no it's it, the car will be freezing cold I'm not gonna do that I mean, for emergency, in case a supercharger is down or whatever, yes, you can do it, but I don't recommend it because the, the windows can fog and it's also not very comfortable. You want to just have it nice and warm, just supercharge or fast charge on the way there. But okay, anyway, let's look at some other variables. So if we go to uh, uh, light here, we switch on uh, headlights. Then you see that we pull more power, so uh, 340 watts maybe versus off is uh, 250, yeah. So uh, that's only about 70 watts extra, it's LED after all. Um, and then the park light, or the, I mean the DRL, uh, not the park light, DRL is about, well, it's about the same, right? Huh. Yeah, more or less the same. Okay. And then if you have this one and you put on the high beam, then you see high beam on an LED takes more power. Um, because this is not Xenon. Xenon works differently. Xenon is the whole light bulb is on and then you just block parts of it. And then when you put on the light, high beam, you will hear this cluck, cluck, cluck. This is open up for the high part. So... All right, and then dome lights, well, uh, it's just LED, so take no power. I'm going to show you now. So we switch on dome lights, and it makes no dent here on the power part. Uh, so we can switch it off. We can even switch on ambient light, and you see nothing. We're talking about 5 watts, maybe, or actually maybe not even that much. Maybe each of these light bulb, the LED, uh, well, it's not a bulb, but all, each of these LED uh, uh, units, there might be just 1 watt or whatever so so you don't have to worry about that one um, as for uh, music let me show you here let me play some music and you see no difference Let's skip a little bit so even even now it's semi loud in here normal driving makes no dent on the on the let's just crank it up okay it might be just a little bit maybe we saw 300 watts of extra mainly the subwoofer so we can actually try something here the sub the, the base is usually what pulls the most power so just as an experiment if we turn the base down to almost zero well, minus 8 decibel, that's kind of low. And this one, for example. And then... Okay, let's see now. Let's put, turn this up. Yeah, so... Um... No, uh, this one, okay. So let's just set it back to normal. And of course, <laughs> if you do it like this, lots of bass. Well, now it just happened to be in... Okay, let's, uh, let's not disturb the neighbors. It's 11 at night now. <laughs> so, let's stop that one. But my point is that if you are running low on juice and you're trying to get to a charging station, you can still have the music on. No worries. You can even have it on high volume. It really doesn't matter that much. But... Um, if you want to save energy, you could switch off HVAC because you've seen that the HVAC part actually takes 
significant part of the, especially even on the Tesla, but even on cars with uh, with heat pump, yes, you can save a little bit on that part. But this is again not something I recommend doing uh, on normal driving. Normal driving you should just have on the HVAC and just enjoy life. Yeah. Um, and, and one other thing I want to show you, if you go to display here, what about display brightness? I see some cars, it was actually the E, uh, no, the, the, the I-Pace and um, Ampere E, when, when it's really low on juice, it will dim the, the display to almost the lowest, just to save energy, right? It's a good idea, I guess, the, the thought is good, but does it really help? Well, let me see, if we put this on the highest, intensity and this is also a freaking big screen you know uh, the screen is not this big on the uh, ipace or whatever and you see it it it's a drop in the ocean so you might as well have it on the maximum because i noticed that it was it was somewhat hard to read the display when it was really dimmed down like that yeah so i'm gonna put it back to five because uh, then the exposure is okay um screen clean mode well actually it's not oled so uh this one of course doesn't do anything uh or actually does it nah nah okay there uh but um I will, i'm not sure if there's other things i could test uh that uses power here uh well i mean for 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 driving then i have to check uh, for example autopilot but i already have a video i tried auto steer and auto steer didn't make any difference and by the way driving you see that i always use sport mode some people say that oh you you can save energy by using chill mode i try that i also have a video where i tried to use chill mode versus ludicrous in in my model x and it made no difference as long as you're driving at the same speed constantly on the highway whatever then chill mode of course doesn't do any magic uh, so yeah but um uh, as for lights not much to show you here um all, all this stuff display nah so um and uh, yeah i could test if wife if i'm connected to wi-fi if that makes a difference but uh mm, yeah okay and there's i guess one thing i could do which is i could close i can exit the car and close the door um uh, maybe they would lock it uh, to switch off the screen see if that makes a difference because eventually the car should go in some kind of resting mode um the pump seems to still be running here uh, let's try so i'm gonna exit the car now okay the screen is off uh, but you see that it's actually not the screen that takes that that power so the screen yeah screen is off um the car is just pulling something i can hear you guys can probably hear it i'm gonna move towards the the front of the car you can hear some kind of humming sound or something let me see if i lock the car maybe it goes into the more more of a sleep state so of course um we all everyone knows about the whole um, um the whole vampire drain in Tesla. So what the heck is, is the Tesla doing really when they just parked? Well, eventually it will go into sleep mode and I suspect that yes, eventually the, the, the pumps here will stop, but it's weird. I mean, it's, it's still running the pumps uh, even when the car is parked. When I hear, I hear this, uh, yeah, you guys can hear it. So it would be interesting to see how long does it take when the car is just idle like this and locked. It should within it should within a couple of minutes uh, go into full rest and just stop the pump and everything. It doesn't need to do all this pumping. Yeah, maybe. It, <laughs> Come on, MC Hammer, stop pumping in the garage here. <laughs> so. Uh, and of course, uh, Tesla is always maintaining the 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 twelve volt battery. You see, the twelve volt battery is at thirteen point eight volts. Uh, if you go here, um, uh, there's uh, something here. You see, volt. Okay, so it's it's constant constantly monitoring it and charging it if needed. So you could you could add a dash cam or whatever, and it will not drain. Well, it will pull from the twelve volt battery, but uh, the high voltage battery will will keep the 12, 12 volt uh, uh, topped up. Okay, let's see. Oh shit, I think some of the tabs. Oh, there you see it now. Yeah, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. So you see, 
after we left the car locked for uh, a couple of minutes, then suddenly the power is, is down to only 100 watts or something. Yeah. And this is, it's still not in the sleep state. So uh, even though the screen is off, it still has communication in case we want to wake it up, for example. Um, uh, but eventually, if we leave this car park longer, it will go into sleep mode and then the power here will be even lower. So that's how I was able to park it uh, at the airport for three weeks and only lose 10% or whatever. So let's see now. If we come back to the car, we're gonna unlock it. Car wakes up. It figures out that, hey, you see, even now HVAC is off, but now when the car wakes up, it starts running the pumps. And this is where it differs from Tesla and other EVs because Tesla is more or less the only EV it doesn't, which doesn't have a power button, a start button, or so, or the start engine button. The only other EV I know that works like this is um, Neo ES8, or at least the Neo, you know, the Chinese uh, brand. All the other cars, there's some kind of start button, and I suspect that well, if the car is off in all the other EVs, then it's completely off, uh, and then when you start it. Uh, then it would be like Tesla is in this state where uh, it's running the pumps and it's uh, uh, maintaining 12 volt battery and of course if HVAC is on and all that yeah so um, I don't know if there's more stuff I should show you guys there's uh, there's so many variables here uh, but there's one thing I want to point out though which is that um, if you if you run the seat heater some people they they have this idea that if you run the seat heater then you don't spend energy from the main battery and then you will save energy well where where does the energy to the 12 volt come from well, it comes from the high voltage battery so uh, <laughs> you're not really saving anything you know well you're, you of course you are you have it okay comfort you know, it's not nice and warm in a car eventually after you drive for a while but um, uh, of course it uses very little energy because it only locally heats right where you're sitting so if you're sitting driving with a jacket that kind of works for you yeah um, all these other numbers here I think I covered them previously in other videos so you can check it out it's called scan my Tesla or something you can see what all this stuff we means um, so yeah I think that's gonna be it. Uh, again, if you want me to test something more, I can do that, yes. Um, but, oh, light went off again. So um, I think that's gonna be it for now. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.